need to read that again. <laughs> oh. I'm Greg Davis. Welcome to Taskmaster. Got a job that needs doing? Worried you'll never find anyone to do it? Perhaps it feels too degrading. Maybe it's a job that doesn't really need doing at all. Well, good news. I happen to know five people who will do anything for a handful of rice and the chance to win a trophy that I can tell you from personal experience does not pique interest on eBay. <laughs> who are these super subservient savants? I'll tell you. They're Charlotte Ritchie. <laughs> Jamali Maddox. Lima, Mike Wozniak, and Sarah Kendall. And next to me, a man who is single-handedly keeping the plastic slip-on shoe industry alive. <laughs> it's little Alex Horn! Yeah. Hi, <laughs> No shame. Absolutely weird. But <laughs> even more practical than Velcro. I don't know why you wouldn't wear them. So I'm feeling very nostalgic. How are you? I was thinking about old holidays, and I brought a couple of photos. Are we at the stage where I can show you holiday photos? Yeah. Yeah, just of my few favourite from my 20s. That's me at the Champs de Lise. That is yeah. actually you. At the Champs de Lise. The Chom I took a picture of a couple Champs of gendarmes. Sometimes they wear uh, roller skates in France. Yeah. That's me in uh, Scotland on Iona, on a little uh, stony promontory. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's nice, isn't it? And that is genuinely it for this section. I <laughs> <laughs> brought some old photos in to show me. Yeah. And I was tipped off just before, so I've um, got one of my family photos to show Alex. <laughs> so that's nice. <laughs> so now we can get on with the game. <laughs> now that we've shared family photos, we can get on with the game. <laughs> Let's get on with the prize task. <sighs> of course. <laughs> and the category this week is the most annoying thing. <laughs> For example. <laughs> Greg will award five points to the person who's brought in the most annoying thing, and at the end of the show, the overall winner will take home five really annoying things and probably feel quite annoyed about winning. All right, then. Mm. Sarah, mm. annoy me. OK. Uh, so I brought in uh, what I found out is called a stud finder. That's what it looks like, a little machine. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you drag it across a wall and it should go... Beep, 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 means you've got something to drill into. A beep, beep means electrics, so don't drill into it. Ah. Oh. Right? And okay. every time I ran it across any surface, it would give me a different result. Every single time, a different result. I am annoyed by your description of it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm annoyed by the object. People do find these things annoying. Nearly all the reviews are things like absolute rubbish, may as well call it a wall detector, will beat for anything, even after recalibration. People will beat them... for anything? Yeah. Yeah, it's a piece <laughs> of shit. Lee, can you beat old Bibby? Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I uh, work on a television programme, BBC One, called Not Going Out. And I asked for a prop where I have to be attacked by my fictional wife by the common weapon of the Yard of Twix. A Yard of Twix, and we've got it yard here, of the Yard of Twix. And I got home and I, I said to the, to the kids, good news, I've got a Yard of Twix. The kids went crazy, oh my gosh, this is amazing. They opened it up, but there wasn't a Yard of Twix in there. There was a piece of wood. Have you got the piece of wood? Uh -huh. That's what was inside. Oh. A solid piece of wood. So I'm very annoyed because my kids are now crying, they're screaming, they're going crazy. That's pretty annoying, right? That is annoying. Do you know what Twix, why Twix is called Twix? Uh, no, I don't, but I'll guess. Two wonderful individual... <laughs> You've got it so far. <laughs> ex -jaglet. No, it's twin, twin biscuits. <laughs> Oh. Twix. What was that last one again? Twin bits. Eggs, chocolate. <laughs> Eggs, chocolate. Um, Charlotte, what did you bring in? For me, the alarm clock is the most annoying item that there is that exists. So Charlotte um, has brought in yeah. these alarm clocks. Yes. Yeah. I hate them all. They're the most annoying thing. We can hear the noises if you want. This is what they all sound like oh, together. Oh, no, now we're talking. This might make them gen... It's, 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 it's just the fact that I'm being woken up. So you're bringing in the concept of being woken up? Yeah, yeah, and the, well, I mean, the concept of sort of time endlessly going on and having to continually wake up. <laughs> 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 OK, happy with that, Craig? Yeah, sort of. Um, Jamali, what have you brought in? Uh, kids' face paint. Red, white and blue today, this is what he's brought in. 
I'm fully on board with you about this, but I just want to clarify what your reasons are for disliking face paint. Is it you don't like having your face painted or you don't like children All of drawing it. attention to themselves? All of it. <laughs> I've got two nieces who I'm very fond of, but when they come up and go, look, I'm a tiger, I'm, I've had my face painted. Yeah, it's jarring, isn't I it? I couldn't give a shit. And it's I never done... Give and it's never shit. done... They never actually look like the thing, <laughs> really. Like, I've got a little cousin, he's like, oh, look, yeah, I'm a lion, and it was blue, and it really pissed me off. I it was would like, annoy me. Yeah, it really pissed a me off. A blue lion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Michael. Uh, I've brought in a symbolic nipple. Here is the <laughs> symbolic nipple. <laughs> uh, this is because I've got an oral fixation. Pop psychology-wise would, would suggest that this, this began with, with, with the nipple. Unless I'm very, very, very heavily distracted... <laughs> Uh, I, I either ha have something in my mouth or I'm thinking about what I could put in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Be it food, drink, nicotine, gum, pens. Are you thinking of something right now to put in your mouth? I am, yeah. What do you want to put in your mouth now? I want to put in something minty. <laughs> <laughs> so if I put my... If I walk past you with my thumb like this, you'd I'll be, be on, on it. it. I'd be on it, like a, yeah, OK. Like a rat up a kilt. <laughs> <laughs> and all that quaint old Scottish saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. In, ter time. in terms of objects, yes. it's party time for Charlotte because she's not in last place. Ooh. Because I didn't find Lee's um, Twix plank in the slightest bit annoying. One point to Lee. The alarm clocks, you've got to get up, you can't be suspended in time, you're a busy actress. Pull yourself together, two points. <laughs> Doubled her normal tally. <laughs> well done, Charlotte. <laughs> um, I uh, found Mike's nipple charming. Three points. This is best you'll get from me. Here we go, then. Sarah, you double-layered it. You were annoying. It's annoying. Four <laughs> points. So, because of a, a shared dislike of children being free to express themselves, <laughs> Jamali takes five sweet points. Well done, Jamali. Appreciate that. Right. On with the first task proper, please, Alex. Right you are. And uh, this one might just take the wind out of someone's sails. Ooh. Have a seat. Welcome on board. Thank you, Alex. Hello. Fart. Fartest wins. Your time starts now. Not a lot going on at the moment. Have you, have you tried yet? At the moment, there's no... no gas in the tank, <laughs> so to speak. Is there any way of putting gas in the tank? Well, I wonder. There was a guy at primary school, I think he used to have various brewing positions he used to swear by. There are a lot of them involved sort of... sort of... kind of... Sort of positioning yourself like this, and so on. Because maybe there wasn't the gas in the... Let's see if we can encourage it to go the other way. <laughs> And massage the inner, the inner mic. I didn't know you could do this. Sort of Neither thing. did I. I'm going to leave you to it for the moment. You carry on. Yeah. We're now in a different season. <laughs> Great. Well, occasionally in this show, we have set tasks just to one solitary person. Yep. And you thought you might see Mike fart. Do you know what bugs me about this task? I've always got one in the bank ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just summon that bad boy up, no? I mean, it's, event, it's, a, it's a frequent event, absolutely, but it's not... I mean, I don't have the Sarah Kendall... Now it's, you know, tick-tock, it's five o'clock. <laughs> <it's>, uh, <laughs> I'm at the, the, the mercy of, you know, of, of internal happenings. Yeah. Mm. So we will keep an eye on his fart brewing throughout the episode. Oh, oh good. There's more to come, yeah? Well, he hasn't farted yet. Is there a task that everybody can take uh, part in, as well as Farty Party Mike? There is, and coincidentally, this one is a little bit arty farty. Here we go. Hello, Jamali. Hey. Oh. How was it in there? It's nice, it's actually not bad caravan. Good luck with this. Thank you. Should I? Yes, please. Hmm. <laughs> Make the best portrait of the Taskmaster on this door only using your feet. You have ten minutes. 
Hang on, using only your feet, does that mean getting the lids off as well? Oh, all the information is on the task. <laughs> your time starts now. All right. Back and pick this up? With your feet? Oh, do I have to use my feet to pick this up? It's up to you how you interpret it. Can I take my shoes off? I mean, I'm not taking my shoes off for anybody. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> right. When you um, stamped on the paint with all your might, <laughs> you seemed surprised uh, that I it exploded the car. Yeah, I, just, I didn't figure a shoe out that much. Do you know, I, I forget how, how big I am. Do you know what I wrote down? Is your bathroom covered in toothpaste? <laughs> <laughs> I bet your mum never says, Jamali, could you help me get the lid off this jam? <laughs> She's had too many walls ruined. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let, let's see some of the responses to this task. OK, well, it's a simple task. Paint a picture, but the twist is you have to use your feet. That's the task. Paint a picture, but with your feet. OK, simple as that. No hidden catch. Your feet, as was clearly stated on the task. So, anyway, here is Lee Mack all by himself. <laughs> what colour shoes does he usually wear, Greg? Black. There's no black? No. What's the nearest colour to black? White. No, that's the opposite of black. Oh. Why are you putting it on the top of your feet? Because I'm going to slide. Oh, hello. What colour trousers does uh, Greg usually wear? Black. You haven't got any black, have you? No. Ah, wait a minute. Could you squirt red from the waist down, covering the complete back? Just the trousers. Are you doing it? Yes. Is it nicely covered? <laughs> yeah. OK, here we go. I'm going back now. Oh, not as young as I was. No! What does he wear on top, usually? A black jacket. Let's go orange again, then. OK. I think you'll be pleased with me. Right. I think I've done well. Alex, would you come and pick the door up, please? OK, make sure that the, the level of that is level with the top of the trail. If it's I not, can't... tell... Yes. Is it? It's the level of the top of yes. the... Yes. Yes, we'll do it, then. Quick! Ow! Oh, gosh. Lift it up. Please. Please lift it up now. <laughs> Does this wash off, this paint? Feel about right? Yep. <laughs> Ta-da! Finish? Yeah. Thank you, Lee. <laughs> wow. Your view of me is that I am you with a bigger belly. If you're not counting talent, yeah, it looks, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. This is his picture of it's you. It's a pretty good painting, I think, as a piece of art. And na nature has taken care of forming my penis, I see. That. <laughs> <laughs> what a shame that you didn't adhere to any of the rules. No, I did. And it doesn't look like me in the slightest. I did adhere to the rules because I only used my feet. He, he put it onto my back, didn't yeah. he? And I used my feet to sort of rock it onto my what back. About the legs? I didn't... What? The legs and the hands. Yeah, where do the feet end? <laughs> you saying this is all foot? It's a grey area, isn't it? Where do the feet end and the hands start? <laughs> Here's how the rest of them got on in a very moving montage. Um, so what does Greg look like? It's the eyebrows. That's the key to it, isn't it? Do I get a picture for reference? OK. I've got a horrible feeling I might have misinterpreted the instructions already early doors, but I'm a follower of rules. Right. Thank you. That's, as a shape, very helpful reference-wise in terms of this door. Thank you, cos... Especially considering that's black and white and stuff, like, it's good, cos... You wouldn't want to make it too easy. Are you really cross? No. Nope. <laughs> so I mix that in with the white. Oh, f <laughs> so I've got it on my glasses. So I've got the base down. That's, uh... Oh, that's very Greg. Just making a pink colour. It's done with a sort of key... key detail. There we go. It's, it's all in the jawline, isn't it? And making the head into a quadrant. I'm sort of interpreting it in terms of, like, abstract. Some gorgeous hair there. 
Oh, boy. Gorgeous. OK. Can't remember what colour his eyes are. Green eyes look nice, don't they? There we go. Oh, yeah. You're drowning those eyes. What else goes on ahead? Eyes, eyebrows, ears. Well, the, the hair is a mixture of... There's a bit of grey in there, isn't there? With the greatest of respect. I've given him a sort of provincial um, purple rinse. Some lips. <laughs> Let's give him a little pirate earring. <laughs> and what's the blue? This is aura. That wasn't the plan. Hopefully give him some stripy thorax. Oh. Yeah. What is that bit? Tree. You sit under a tree, thinking of tasks and shit. I've got his little bloody nose either. Thank you, SK. OK. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Let's serve out the caravan. It's not just the caravan in the end, but thank you. Lovely. Well, there's two quotes for the uh, Taskmaster quote book straight away. Um, the idea of me sitting under a tree <laughs> thinking of tusks and shit. <laughs> and, of course, Sarah's classic, what else goes on ahead? <laughs> <laughs> um, Jamali, it looks like you misread the task and you thought it said, do a picture of Greg after his house has been hit by a drone strike. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's abstract, isn't it? Like, you know how art, like, when they put, like, a blob on a wall and they go, huh? That's what I was doing for you, you Yeah. Know? I enjoyed Charlotte's ongoing campaign to get a job as a children's TV presenter. It's non-stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my career might be over from this, but not my career as a children's TV presenter. No way, not with those moves. I can't well, wait. Well, she said they were year six disco moves. <laughs> Did I say that? <laughs> I was... That was honestly my peak. Can we see them? We yeah. can still talk about them afterwards. Sure, well, should we start with Charlotte's picture? This is yeah. <laughs> I mean, that... OK. That is straight on to see Beebies, isn't it? That's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you can see the animation now. <laughs> that looks less like me than Lee Mack's picture of himself. Um, I disagree. <laughs> the specifics is that you're standing on a glass floor and that you can see your footprints and you're, like, leaning over and... It's a rippling reflection. Oh, I see. Now, now you've put it in context. Yeah, it now does you look get like it. me. So, yeah. from the point of view of a fish under a glass it... bottom disco boat. Yes. It kind of yeah. looks like... Shall I show you Mike's? Yeah. So, bear in mind, he said he's trying to represent the sternness in the eyebrows, kissable lips, not an unattractive man. <laughs> Terrified. I'm amazed because when he was squeezing the paint out with his uh, with his feet, it's like the passion. It's like he was giving birth. <laughs> but I thought this is going to be amazing. The, eye, the distinctive eyebrows. Here we go. I mean, what's that? Now that's the bottom line. Is that arts and crafts? There's no there's no skill there. He said you're going to a party. That's why you're wearing your bow tie and your special red party trousers. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Well, Sarah said this is a piece of piss. There's his little piggy nose, and she did this. <laughs> <laughs> Now, that's not a bad. really mean baby. There's a, there's a look of me there. What, why did you pop the earring in? I thought you had an earring. Oh. <laughs> I thought you had a large hooped earring. <laughs> <laughs> One more to see. Jamali said it was so good you could take it to a gallery and sell this shit. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, energy. I like that. Oh, Very God. Cool. It's what it represents, it's not what it is, you know? And what does it represent? Below there, your blue aura, which represents your sort of, like, masculinity, and then you've got sort of, like, it melds in with the sort of reds, which represents the passion you have mm. for this game show. And then you've got the green as well, which represents your love of nature. I mean, oh God, I'm so easily led. I, I, I quite like it as a picture. You've got to rate these five pictures of yourself. Our lease is a wonderful work of art, but unfortunately... You didn't paint it with your feet. He gets a point out of it. Oh, OK. So one point to Lee Mac. Um, now, let's all guess who's going to get two points. It's got to be the It Clown. Of course, it's was the actual rubbish Bobby. clown. Two points. <laughs> Children's TV presenter, three points. Steady well done, three. Charlotte. <laughs> the question is, is it the baby genie that takes four points? Or am I going to uh, give five points to Jamali's madness? Genuinely, hand on heart, if I wanted people to see an artistic representation of me, I would choose Jamali's. Five points. Fair. Come on, Maddox, five points! Yeah. Yeah. Have you got a scoreboard, please? I do have a scoreboard. Lee 
is not having a lovely episode. He's oh, on no. two points. Oh. I'm having a disaster. At the other end, Jamali Maddox is on ten points and he's in second place in the series. Well done, yeah. Jamali. Yeah. Yeah. What's next, Alex? Well, it's a naughty, naughty team task. Hi, team. Hi, Al. Wow, really cool. Yeah, my one don't fit. <laughs> oh, I can see that. Can read it? Yeah, you can read it, sir. You sure? Yeah, that's cool. Vandalise this wall. Most creative vandalism wins. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. Right, let's jack it off for this. <laughs> the possibilities are endless. The canvas vast. What will they do? But is it time for a wind break? <laughs> We are now one and a half hours into Mike's attempt. The crew had gone to lunch. <laughs> Here's how the two teams did, trying to achieve the most creative vandalism of our wall. So, yeah... Have I've... you got a tag? Sweet tag? A, what's the tag? Tag, the graffiti, the sort of signature. Oh, your signature? Yeah. Whoa! Is it cool if I just start fucking it up? What about through Alex? We'll draw Alex. We know a bank scene is a stencil. Would you be willing to put a mask on and let us spray you to get the outline of your body? I've got an idea. Oh. Oh. oh, wow, look at you. Sweet as a peach. Well, you. we're going to use you as a stencil. Is that right? You know, just, that's just my own amusement. <laughs> Pleasure. This one, I Oh, know. I... Can we fix some fire? Can we get a blowtorch, please? Step away, please. Oh. Bad, isn't it? The balloon. I think your yellow is good. If you want to fill in these gaps with yellow, I think your yeah. yellows are more crafty. Yeah, please do that. Very nice. Write his name and then something offensive at the bottom. All right. Hang on, what about this? Alex Orn is A, and then we don't put anything, and we let the passers-by creatively add to it. Oh, oh my God! Epic! Yeah, hit me in the dick. <laughs> nice, that. Thank you, team. Thank you. It's my first graffiti. Done it. OK, you can go away now. Thanks. we better go before the fuzz get here. <laughs> What? What? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Talk me through your uh, two-man system. We, we just sort of st started, the stencil idea appeared, and then we're, we're away. We were just channelling after that. So I became Banksy's girl with balloon. Yeah. United Kingdom's number one favourite artwork voted recently. Can, can I just point out, it was Mike that wrote Street Tough and not me. <laughs> I it? wanted to myself. Street Tough. Street Tough. That's not me. That's my sweet tag. Yeah. <laughs> what I like about it is it's colourful and it uh, pleases the eye and it also tells you so much about the man that did it. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you want to compare that to the team of three? Yeah, then? come on, let's see this that. Is what they did. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> You went. Properly Lord of the Flies, that team did. Because I think vandalism is true destruction of, of state and property, isn't it? So that's what we went for. Uh, and is this your slogan? Is it okay for me to start fucking it up? Yeah, because it's 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 pure utter destruction with politeness. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and the politeness was taken care of by Charlotte, Guess who? who once she'd uh, knocked a paint covered ball into your penis, went epic. <laughs> <laughs> Horrid when I said that. So horrible. epic. And, and then you said no because yeah, yeah. And it's, it's not. It wasn't like TV. Oh no, it hit my dick. No, it hit me yeah, straight actually, what followed in was the minutes dick. Of pain. It was horrible. Yeah. I don't think I can conceptualise what that feels like, but um, I wasn't. I'm nice. sorry. It's it's not cool. 
I feel that if you're going to vandalise something, it has to be... I mean, what you guys did was vandalism to the point of they're going to repair that within 24 hours because that's just unsightly, whereas ours, they might go, is it art, is it vandalism, let's keep it up. Yeah. So our vandalism yeah. makes more of a statement for longer. Banksy. Yeah, like Banksy, you, know, you, you went just... far more Banksy. It's going to be on T-shirts, that thing. There was only one piece of creative vandalism up there, and it was these two tragic middle-aged men. <laughs> and I'm going to give them five sweet points each. Whoa! These asbos. <laughs> you know, I'm only giving you this one point because Charlotte shouted epic during it. <laughs> so one point to Sarah, one to Jamali, one to Charlotte, five to the naughty creative middle-aged men. Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. All right, one more, please, Alex. Of course, and this really is a first-class task. Hey. Oh, hi there, Hello. Sarah. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to First Class. Hello, Lee. Hey, <laughs> Ooh. I'm not used to this. It's not as you know, it's worth the money, isn't it? <laughs> Identify the contents of the battered items in this fish and chips order. You may lick and sniff all of the items. <sighs> oh my God. You may bite into two. You may squeeze one bet oh, between your elbows. Between your elbows? You may really stamp on one. Really stamp. Really stamp. Really stamp on one. Why can't you may stamp on one? Ah, oh, you've got to really stamp on it. All right. You may look at one through a magnifying glass. You may put one in a glass of water. Most correctly identified items wins. You have ten minutes. Your time starts now. OK. Um... Side note, I think I can manage my previous challenge. Am Maybe I scared on, it on off? the stamping mat? On the stamping mat. Oh, no, I've scared it off. I've scared it off. <laughs> <laughs> I got too big for my boots and I announced it. <laughs> I've scared it off. Oh. It's just got to wind my neck in sometimes. <laughs> Might help your fart doing that. Yeah. <laughs> right, pretty clear what we've got to do here. OK, well, we're going to see Mike again and also Sarah Kendall. <laughs> Smells of batter. Oh. Smells of batter. <laughs> Smells of batter. Well, I can definitely smell batter. <laughs> That taste of batter. A fine lick. To scent something with your tongue. I mean, it's tempting to sort of stamp on one a bit, not really stamp on it, just sort of, you know. Why aren't you letting us see you're licking? What? Oh, you licked that one hard. That's uh, great. And that was, that was just one big lick, was it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to stamp on you. Really stamp on it, please. So I'm going to stamp on. Really stamp. Really stamp. Uh, this one. Well, I really stamped on that egg. Oh, you prick. I think it's a boiled egg. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's a oh. Naked elbows or, I mean, bare elbows or what we're we talking? Oh. Hello. Hello. So I'm guessing, is that a kiwi fruit? It's a kiwi fruit. It's a jam donut. Can I lick that? Oh, no, maybe it's a jam tart. Jammy donut. It's a kiwi fruit. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, my God. What the hell is that? Hang on, that's a... Wallet? Oh, my God. It's a wallet. It's a wallet. It's a wallet. Oh, That is the worst smell that I have ever. Is it? Hard to see any identifying features. I think this might just be a clump of batter. Real much. Mm, I see your method. Mm, I'm just putting it in the water, just like it says in the rules. The horrible thing, this is just better. And this is 
um, an uninflated balloon. smell inside the wallet. I don't know how that smell was achieved. I've never smelled anything worse. I found it fascinating that you said that, the most disgusting smell, and then went back in for a second oh, smell. Oh, repeatedly. I was there for about 15 minutes. Quite a contrast between the two reactions. Yeah, it didn't seem to bother you at all. <laughs> I've eaten worse. It's worth pointing out to anyone who doesn't know that Mike used to be a doctor, and uh, you had all of the gravitas of a doctor whilst uh, dropping batter in and out of a pint glass. <laughs> that was the old trick back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> Until they flushed me out. Fair enough. <laughs> I think Mike was a bit confused. When he found the wallet, he thought everything else would be inedible as well. So yeah. he found three and a half things correctly. Right. Out of the six. Sarah did better. What do you want to say about her licking technique? You were only meant to lick them, and she inserted her tongue and sort of well, ripped you... the batter off it with her tongue. I didn't rip the batter off it <laughs> well, with my tongue. you licked it aggressively. I licked it hard. You inserted your tongue. <laughs> she pushed her tongue through the batter? Don't yes, know. to reveal the grape. In a licking motion? Well, she turned her back on us. Because I didn't want that on film, but I lifted a little bit of batter off whilst licking, so I did hook my tongue under a little bit of batter to... But that was still in a licking motion. You've got quite a sort of rough sandpaper tongue. I do, like a cat. Mm. I'm going to let her get away with her aggressive grape lick. OK. Well, in that case, she got five out of six. She didn't correctly oh, wow. identify the pie. OK. Who's next? Well, it's time to see Lee Mac and Cheese and Charlotte Rich Tea. <laughs> Batter. Yeah, that's the batter one. That to me looks like a lemon. Uh, okay, didn't help me at all. That's told me nothing. So let's try um, biting into two. I call that the non vegan egg. I'm going to bite into this one, which feels like such a bad move, but also I sort of hope it's a brownie. <laughs> if it's supposed to be like a, a bit of leather or something, I don't think you'd do that. It would be. Okay. Right. It's a wallet. That's a wallet, you weirdo. I mean, it's a wallet. So, did you get the message that I'm a vegan? Yeah, yeah, I've got a message that you're vegan. It's just egg and a leather wallet. Oh, God. Kiwi. Delicious? No. I just got, like, scraps of hair from the outside of it. I'm gonna go for jam. Scrawny, but sharp. Oh, an egg. Oh, my God. Oh, that's so unhelpful. Oh, you've got to really stamp on it. I am really doing it. It's not an illusion. Well, that, that's the kiwi fruit, that. I think that's just batter. Batter deep fried in batter. What's the point of that? Why didn't you say you can just look really closely? So I want to eat that, and I'm going banana. Oh, you! Oh, no. Oh, mm -mm. I'm not biting it. Look at it. You're licking it, are you? Internally. You can lick internally, as long as you don't bite it. Look, it's all solid. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say that's a lemon as well. Two lemons in the end. I'm going to say an eraser. An eraser? Yeah. No, a razor. Oh, a razor? Yeah. So a razor blade? Oh, no. A razor like a rubber. <laughs> a razor. A razor? Yeah. Lychee. Thank you, Lee. You're welcome. We did know that he was a vegan, right? Yes. I should take some responsibility here. Yeah. I thought wallets would be all right. Yeah, because they're famously nothing to do with animals, are they, leather wallets? <laughs> Seems unlikely that an animal could be a leather wallet. <laughs> <laughs> He puts up a strong argument. <laughs> <laughs> I do need to say, it wasn't a leather wallet, it was a plastic wallet. I mean, egg's clearly not vegan. Are you responsible for this? I'm so sorry, Lee, about making you eat those foods. I was... Listen, I'm 99% I'm that I'm not the full vegan yet, because I keep... I, I'll, I'll lick a wallet. Yeah. <laughs> Charlotte, what, you were totally on it. You weren't vaguely uh, phased out by biting into a wallet. No. I did say, I think, I, 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 there's no way it could be leather and then bit immediately into leather. So I thought it was quite, pre like, yeah. a premonition. She did well, except for thinking we'd hidden two lemons in them yeah. for, for some reason. So she got four out of six. Lee got kiwi, egg, wallet. There was no jam, lychee or banana, so he got three out of six. Could be worse. Hey, Mike.
Hello. The plane has been booked by someone else now. You have to leave the plane. Go play. So uh, ashamed. Sorry. Still time. I'll keep working on it. Never has a nation been so gripped by one man's battle with his bowels. <laughs> will he succeed? Is this what will make Mike Wozniak a household name? Will his efforts bring our broken nation back together? Only time will tell. But for now, there's a task to complete. Yes, there is. We've seen everyone assault our battering, bar one. And his name is Jamali. I'm going to stamp on this one. You have to really stamp on it, Jamali. A wallet? Oh, it's got a receipt. It's a wallet with a receipt. Oh, here we go. In the batter, there's uh, an apple and blackberry pie, a boiled egg, kiwi fruit, a great individual and a wallet. That's what's in all of these. There's one extra item, I think, there. Batter. Oh, in the batter. Yeah, it's batter in the batter. Thank you, Jamali. All right, then. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That is incredible. Absolutely knocked it out of the park. I've been pretending I've never seen this show. I'm a big fan of the show. <laughs> <laughs> this is show. where you reveal This yourself. is where I revealed I'm actually a huge fan of the show. Did you think that was the task, to just open the wallet and then crack on? Not really as I found the shortcut, but it's just like if I see a wallet, if I see something, I just feel to open it because I feel like there's going to be some message inside. Amazing gameplay. He just takes it. Jamali gets the full five points. Sarah came next. She gets four. Charlotte, three. Mike two, Lee just the one. But That's mainly it's five points to Jamali Maddox. <laughs> At this stage, we normally do the final task, but yep. do you want to have one last mic check? Oh, a little farty party. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> you can go and clean yourself up if you want. Thanks, Alex. Any, nothing else you able to do at this stage? Well, if I, I mean, I, maybe if I have a moment, it could, it could, it could, it could be that something happens. I mean, it must be possible, right? It all changed. It all changed. That was like some real effort. <laughs> yeah. It was a tiny, 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 tiny little pop. I've stuck the clock. Wow. Not very satisfying. Yeah, quite a long wait for that. And I think I probably need to check myself. Anyway, so I'll, I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me you put a sound effect on it. Is that the genuine that, noise? That's the genuine noise. That's <laughs> the way. It's one of the worst things I've ever heard in my life. I can talk you through what I think happened if you want. It's well, not, I, it's not I, pleasant. I, I, I don't need you to because you've clearly shut yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> there was the passage of air, so I had, like the flatus had gone through. Task tick. What, it, what in fact I had done is I'd uh, dislodged a uh, hemorrhoid that had been you know, oh, oh, for quite God. a long time. Oh, my that's, God. that's what you're hearing. Oh, God. You're hearing that moving through my anal canal. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, that's a hemorrhoid popping out. And back out into the outside <gasps> in full bloom. <laughs> it's still flapping about to this day. You, it's still loose. Oh, it's an absolute casserole down there. <laughs> <laughs> but you get a task, you do the task. <laughs> no matter the price. Oh, my God. But also, Greg, when he does it, you must have been aware something had come out, but you still were so happy that you'd achieved the task. His little face. <laughs> yes. Just have a look at his little face. Let's have a look. And it's so counterintuitive, isn't it? Because in any other situation, you'd go, I hope no one heard that. <laughs> and it's the complete opposite. Did you get it? <laughs> <laughs> um, Greg, do you want to give him a point at all? Gee, we've got to give him something. I mean, his family aren't staying around after that. <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to begrudge him a bonus point. How many oh, are we giving him? No. Just one. One. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah one, one for hemorrhoid, I suppose. Okay, so one hemorrhoid and one point to yeah. Mike Wozniak. Yeah. Thank you. Incredible. Right, let's have a glance at the scores. OK. As if don't... anything matters anymore. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of the series, that point, I think he will agree, was worth it. Mike's now in second place. Right. Uh, we've got Sarah on 103, Mike on 84, Jamali 83, Lee slipped back into second last with 78, Charlotte on 67! <laughs> In this episode, we have joint second place. That's Sarah and Mike with 13, but the leader is Jamali. He's not won an episode yet, but he's on 16 points. Romping ahead. <laughs> All right, everyone, please make your way to the stage for the final task of the show. <laughs> Hi.
Hi, everyone. <laughs> Who's going to read it? I'd like Jamali Maddox to read the task, please. Very good. Tie the very ends of the string to the arms of the glasses, then put the glasses on. Fastest wins. Simple task. You've got a padlock there with four numbers. You've got to crack the code. Good luck. So as fast as wins, your time starts. <laughs> the Taskmaster may give you a clue. Could you give us a clue, please, Taskmaster? M C M L X V I I I. He loves his Roman numerals. <laughs> Always has done. Hey, could you put down a sum for me, Greg? Certainly. <laughs> 123 times 16. Oh. Is that real, or are you joking? 123 times 16? Just double it, double it, double it, and double it again. Oh, shut up! Sorry? What? Pardon? <laughs> double it, double it, and double it again. If you want. 123 times 16. Yep. What's your favourite film, Greg? Planet of the Apes. I remember the year when that was released. Well, what year was it released? Say the, the 123 times... Well, times 16. 123 times 16. Year I was born. The year you were born? You were born the same year as Lee, weren't you? I was. That was handy. I don't know how to do maths. <laughs> ah. Ah. I'm 52. So, let's go back. 22. Only two people have opened their boxes. Well, I can't remember the end now. Is that the end? Yes, we have one completed person. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh no. Oh, the violence. <laughs> you, you broke it. It's off. It's off. Wow. Mike, right, can you finish the task? I think so. The very ends of the string, please. The ends of the string, is the it? The task is tied the very ends of the string. Good stuff. Good stuff. It is quite exciting over here. It's Charlotte versus Jamali here. It's whoever can find the other end of the string Where first. The string. You're there. <laughs> your favourite, guys. Oh, oh cool as a cucumber. And we have five completed tasks. Different methods. Points for everyone. Come down here, we'll see how that's affected the final score. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there. They cracked the code, they tied the string to the glasses. They did indeed, and... And Lee Mack did it fastest. He that's did. not so surprised. Lee gets five points, the slowest with Jamali, then Charlotte, Sarah gets three points, but Mike Wozniak gets four points, which means oh. he was in the lead. Jamali is still in the lead, but with Mike, they've both got 17 points. Oh! oh. Tiebreak! Tiebreak! Oh. How are we going to find out a winner, Alex? Yes, it's with a tiebreak, Greg. <laughs> it's a tiebreak. And one in which I was a big, brave boy because they had to fire as many rubber bands as possible into my dangerously positioned bum bag. They had two minutes, so here's how they got on. Oh, shit. All right, well... <laughs> no, I went the wrong way. Oh. Sorry. Ooh, it's quite powerful. Ooh. <laughs> oh, not a single one so far. Right, right. OK. I think I'm getting worse rather than better. Oh, oh I got one in. <whistles> Thanks. You can leave now. I agree. Good luck. See you. Yes, two excellent flingers, Greg. There's no doubt about that. But it yeah. wasn't close. Mike got one rubber band into my bum bag. <laughs> Jamali got seven. <gasps> there it is. <laughs> Jamali Maddox wins. Please go and annoy yourself with your annoying thing. Yeah. So. What have we learnt today? As if you don't know. This is what we've learnt today. <laughs> <laughs> See you again soon. For now, though, here's tonight's winner once more. Jamali Maddox! <laughs>
For more Taskmaster, subscribe now.